Welcome to our podcast episode, where we delve into the fascinating world of intuitionism, a philosophy within mathematics that emphasizes the role of intuition and mental constructs in understanding complex concepts. This episode is based on an article titled Intuitionism, authored by an unknown writer. Our journey begins with the exploration of mental constructs. These are not objective truths, but rather tools that we use to make sense of the world around us. They are subjective interpretations that help us understand complex ideas. The validity of these constructs is not dependent on their objective existence, but rather on how they are internally consistent and applied by individuals. We then move on to the importance of truth and proof in various contexts. Truth is not subjective and cannot be based solely on personal beliefs or opinions. Instead, it should be supported by concrete evidence and proof. This is particularly important in scientific research and legal systems, where evidence-based claims and verification play a crucial role in establishing truthfulness. The article also delves into the concept of intuitionistic logic, a branch of mathematics that differs from classical mathematics. Intuitionistic logic rejects certain assumptions of classical logic to ensure that everything that is proven is intuitionistically true. This means that the proof must provide a method or procedure for obtaining the result, rather than just showing that it is logically possible. The concept of infinity within the context of intuitionism is also discussed. One of the positions mentioned is potential infinity, referring to a mathematical procedure where there is an unending series of steps, like the process of counting where the numbers continue indefinitely. The article also introduces us to Cantor's formulation of set theory and the concept of different infinite sets. For instance, the set of all real numbers is larger than the set of natural numbers, highlighting the concept of different sizes of infinite sets. We also learn about the work of Gottlob Frege, who attempted to reduce all of mathematics to a logical formulation using set theory. However, his efforts were derailed by Bertrand Russell who discovered a paradox that demonstrated a flaw in one of Frege's rules of self-reference. The article then introduces us to the different positions held by prominent mathematicians in the early 20th century. L. E. J. Brower represents the intuitionist position, David Hilbert, the formalist position, and Kurt Gödel, the Platonist views. Alan Turing is also mentioned, who considers non-constructive systems of logic with which not all the steps in a proof are mechanical, some being intuitive. Finally, we delve into the work of L. E. J. Brewer, who explored the concept of defining functions and the limitations that exist within this process. His work is interconnected and builds upon his previous research, emphasizing the role of intuition and constructive methods in mathematical reasoning. In conclusion, intuitionism is a fascinating and complex field that emphasizes the role of intuition and mental constructs in understanding and interpreting the world around us it challenges our understanding of truth proof and logic and offers a unique perspective on the world of mathematics